guys welcome back to my channel as always please make sure to comment like and subscribe so you too can be part of the pink squad hi hello happy friday when you are watching this as always tell me i want to know what are we doing this weekend what am i doing this weekend um actually i'm not doing anything the only thing that I want to do that's like on my to-do list is actually watch the Buzz movie because it came out on Disney Plus. In case you didn't know, that was one of the movies that was on my list that I didn't want to pay for but that I did want to see. So I'm really excited about that. And then what else? Yeah, other than that, I'm not doing anything, you guys. Uh, but yeah, so make sure to tell me because I like to know and maybe someone is going to the beach. I always get so excited when someone's like, I'm going to the beach because I feel like I'm going to the beach because I'm living through you guys. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, also if you didn't watch my last video, I would watch it. Just saying, I would watch it now. Okay. Don't say I didn't tell you, okay? Okay, so today I am going to walk through how do I pay my bills and also how do I handle my money. Now, if you've been here for a while, I did make a how do I use prop money video and I will link that at the end. I need to remember. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the times I'm like, yeah, I'll link it at the end and then I don't. But I will I will I will make a note as soon as I'm done. But if you haven't watched that, please go watch it because that's also one of the biggest questions that I get is how do you use prop money? And I know a lot of people feel or not feel, a lot of people need to use cash because they find themselves to be more accountable that way. For me personally, I've said it before, but I do work really hard for my money. So I always just want to, you know, rather be safe than sorry. Also, I don't live, you know, super luxurious place. So <laughs> that is also why. But yeah, so with that, I will leave that down below. Here we are going to talk about how do I manage my bills? What do I do? Where does the money come from? all of that fun stuff. And I'll address a little bit how I feel about credit cards. I do want to make a separate video for that. You'll find that I'm going to slowly, very slowly, because <laughs> I do have a few videos planned out of questions that I get. Some of them being like, do I use credit cards? Do I believe in credit cards? Just because a lot of people do use it for the rewards, which is awesome, you know. But I feel like everyone is different, right? So I will also, that video is coming sometime this month. Just be on the lookout, okay? We have a lot of videos in the works. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to go ahead and just jump in. So this is just, I opened up to May because I just, I just opened up the first month that my, you know, that my hands got a hold of. So I am very, very simple when it comes to tracking my bills and all of that fun stuff. So for me personally, I don't do like the sticker kits or anything like that. You know, it's very plain Jane, which is why I don't film it because I know a lot of people want to see, you know, the pretty like me sticker kits and the Julys and you know, like all that fun stuff. I don't do that. I need stuff, you know, straightforward, clear, especially when it comes to my money. To me, like, it just needs to be organized. And sometimes all it takes is just writing it down. So what I do at the beginning of every month is I write down and I list all of my beautiful bills. So... If you watched Tuesday's video, I showed you how I budget my paycheck, at least that paycheck, right? I show you how much I allocate to fixed expenses, how much I allocate to my variable expenses, and then also how much I allocate to savings challenges. 
So when I tell you that I'm looking at my calendar to see what I need to pay, this is what I'm looking at. So I go ahead and write down at the beginning of every month what I have due on what day. For me, I am a visual person, so I like to see it. I also just, because I use prop money, I come back here and I cross out when something has come out so that I can go ahead and pay that back. Now, what I mean by that is my bills are on auto draft. I don't send a single bill. <laughs> I used to, I used to schedule them like every week or every paycheck, you know, I would put like, okay, this bill be due by this day and blah, 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 blah. I don't do that anymore. Personally, the reason I always had to sit down and micromanage and double check what was being paid was when I was in debt. And it wasn't because your girl was worried about being late on her bills. No, no, no. I was bad back then. I was very bad back then. Um, that was simply because I was trying to make sure that I could afford my bills. Yeah. If you haven't seen my debt confession, that is also linked at the end of this video. So <laughs> with that, I decided that once I became debt free, I no longer wanted the, and it's not really a stress, right? Like first world problems, you got to sit down and pay your bills. But it was just kind of like an inconvenience, like a nuisance, you know, like I just didn't want it. So what I do is I placed all of my bills in a credit card and I set them to auto pay themselves. So these companies will auto deduct before my due date the amount that I owe. Now with that, okay. That is why I'm making a separate credit card video because I personally don't condone the use of credit cards, okay? I know, bear with me because you're like, Judy, you're using, you just said you're using a credit card. I know, I know. But I don't condone the use of a credit card if you have no self-control. So with that, I would assess your situation. I am not a financial advisor, okay? I have no type of license. I have no type of credibility. The only credibility I have is I was really, really broke and then I dug myself out of that and now we're trying to build. So that's about as much credibility that I have, you know, around over here. So with that, you know, I personally, like there's financial podcasts that I listen to, stuff like that, and I would really take the time to research your situation and what it is that you need. And again, that's where I say credit cards are not for everyone. May I repeat, they are not for everyone. I don't use my credit cards for spending. So for instance, how people will do like the cash back by doing all their groceries and all of that fun stuff and their fun money and all of that. I don't do that. Why? Because I do trust myself. I, I've learned the hard way, so I definitely trust myself. But for me personally, if it's cash, I'm less likely to spend it. If it's plastic, I'm going to swipe, swipe away. And I don't want to do that because I'm trying to save. So for me personally, that doesn't work at all whatsoever. But what works for me is to set my bills on a credit card, have them auto draft, and then what I do, and this is where I go back and cross off, is when I get paid, as soon as I get paid, I pay off the card. Now again, people will tell you there's a whole science and you know of how you're supposed to be paying your credit cards um, that you can look into. For me personally, it's fine, okay? Trial and error, it's still working for me. <laughs> so I personally don't feel like I have to, you know, pay them any type of way. I find comfort in that as soon as, you know, these charges go through and as soon as I get paid, 
I send that off and then I come cross it off to make sure that I can see what bills that I paid already. Now, like I said, that is not for everyone. Some people need to pay their bills with cash. Totally fine. I'm not telling you to convert to this way, okay? The only other time I, I, that I use a credit card is never. <laughs> I don't use it. So I have them actually stored away in a safe, you know, in case anyone ever comes. Uh, and let me knock on some wood really quick. Okay, so yeah, they are stored away, they're out of sight, out of mind, but what they are doing is they are helping me build a credit score. Now, do your own research, okay, and understand what it is that you need. Now, there are stuff, there's information out in the world that you actually don't need a credit score to buy a home. And again, do your research. Please, please do your research. I am here to share with you, but please do your research because my situation is different than your situation, okay? So from what I got going on on this side, you know, on this side of the screen, I need to build my credit score. Point, period, blank. That's because it's my situation. Now, I share my finances with you guys, I share my tips, I share my experiences, but there's some things that I don't share. <laughs> and so I'm not gonna get into all that, but just know for my situation specifically, I need to make sure that I maintain a good credit score. So with that, that's why I have my bills drafted from those credit cards. And like I said, that is all that they are used for, okay? That's it. Now, I will make a separate video just going into credit cards and, you know, what are the other times that I've used them for and stuff like that, but that's just not this video, so let's bring it back in. So, once they are drafted, I go into my bank account and I pay it off. Now, as far as when you guys see like my savings challenges and all of that fun stuff and that you see that I stuff prop money, all of that money is in a high yield savings account. So what I personally use is Capital One. Shout out to them. <laughs> this isn't sponsored, but how cool would it be if Capital One sponsored me? Uh, but anyways, so I personally use them to make my high yield savings accounts, look into them, but basically I have separate accounts for separate funds. So I have a cash emergency one, I have my three months of expenses one, um, what else do I have? Uh, you know, and so on. So whenever you see envelopes that are fully funded, stuff like that, that's where the money goes and reason being is if I know it's going to sit there for a while, why not have it make some money? And it might not make a ton of money right by the time I use it or even if I have to use it. But in my mind, if it makes a dollar, that's a dollar that I got for just having my money sit somewhere. <laughs> so I'm not mad at it. <laughs> but yeah, so whenever you guys see me or hear me say like, oh, I'm looking at my calendar on what I have to pay. That's what I'm doing is I'm going back and backtracking what hasn't fallen off or what haven't I paid back essentially. So yeah, and then once I do that, you know, then it just comes out of my regular bank account. And so it's like, it's no different than if I had them set to auto pay on my debit card. Just because, again, I'm not touching it for any other reason. Um, like I said, I don't touch the credit cards, so it is strictly for that. And it has helped me, it has worked for me. Like I said, do your own research. I always recommend people, do your own research, please, please do your research. Um, <laughs> I have, done mine but that again I've done my research with my situation in mind please make sure to make 
or do your research with your situation in mind, okay? So that is how my bills get handled. I feel like there's a lot of confusion when I stuff the prop money. They're just kind of like, what? Um, which I totally get. <laughs> and then, like I said, when I stuff like my savings challenges, like one time I had someone tell me, what did they tell me? They told me like, oh, like you're using fake money. Like that's not real. And I was like, okay, well, I do try and make it a point. Sometimes I forget, but I always make it a point to mention like we use prop money on this side of the screen. So it is very much real money. I just work too hard to have it sitting here. Because like I said, I just don't live somewhere where I can have, you know, thousands in a binder just sitting on a bookshelf. Like that's just not where I live. So, yeah. But, anywho, if you guys have questions, definitely let me know. I didn't want to stuff so much into one video because then I felt like it was just going to be too much. So, next upcoming videos you'll see is my stuffings. And that's just because I just did my paycheck breakdown. And then, after those, then I'm going to post how I use credit cards and how I feel about credit cards <laughs> and all that fun stuff because like I said we all do the same thing right we all do savings challenges we all budget we all save up for things but we do them differently and that's personally why I love this community is because I've been able to learn so much from everyone for that exact same reason. The fact that I can go, you know, from here to here and they completely have different lives, but they have their own goals and they're totally crushing it. And I can take something from both of them, you know? Like to me, that's what's awesome about this community is we've all gone through, you know, or, you know, a lot of us have gone through like paying off debt and like being in the trenches <laughs> and you know we've a lot of us have gone through like having a really really tight budget to you know you have a little bit of wiggle room so now what all of that fun stuff you know so I can't crank out these videos as quickly as I can share all the information that I have learned and you know stuff like that but I always answer my comments, so any questions, thoughts, stuff like that, like definitely leave them down below. I know that budgeting is very overwhelming. I know that finances are super overwhelming. Like I totally, totally get it because I agree. <laughs> and it is, it's a lot, okay? And... I personally like wish I would have found this community a lot sooner because I definitely think I would have gotten my life together a lot quicker but it's okay <laughs> you know when you live and you learn and now we're here and that's that so anywho please make sure to comment like and subscribe so you too can be part of the pink squad. Don't forget to tell me what you're doing this weekend. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Bye guys.